Oh, you guys don't know who I am. All right. <laughs> uh, what's up, gamers? Uh, this is Donnie Q, the director of the Vidu Game Awards, and I'm here with uh, representatives from Playism about their game Metal Bringer. All right. Uh, did you need to translate that for him, or? Uh, uh, game. Sorry, can you? Uh, uh, game. Just. Oh, uh, so Vidu Game Awards. Vidu Game Awards. Yes, and then I'm Donny Q. I'm the director. Vidu Game Awards. No, Donny Q. Vidu Game Awards. Director. Thank you. Uh, so, what is your role here at Playism? Uh, Mister San, no, yeah, quality, you know, Mister San, what kind of position? Eh, to director, no, title, to decide, promotion, to think, anything, anything. <laughs> so he's kind of like the overall director of of Playism. So he's in charge of producing most of the titles and, and yeah. Oh wow, mm. wow. So what what's Playism's primary uh, purpose? I, I if I'm remembering correctly, it's bringing uh, Japanese indies over to America and internationally. Is that about right? So Playism, yeah, so um, all, as you said, you know, bringing Japanese indie games to the Western audience is definitely one of them. Um, but on top of that, another thing is we'd like to create, you know, relationships with developers and, and we'd like to work with them more closely to maybe work on their future titles or new titles that they have as well. So pretty much just making that relationship with, with all the developers is another thing we want. Okay, uh, so with Break Arts 3, did you find them with the first Break Arts, or, or is this something where, uh, uh, like, did you help develop them from the beginning to now, or did you come across them and then uh, Break Arts 3 is the first time you've interacted oh, with them? Oh, day one! Break Arts 3 is the first time I've interacted with them. Break Arts 1 and Break Arts 2 is the first time I've yeah, yeah, so we've, we've worked with them from since the start of Break Arts Report. Oh, wow. Mm. That's amazing. Uh, so um, actually with Break Arts 1, you know, we, we um, had a lot of you know, support from the Western audience saying like, can you please you know, release it in the West and, and things like that. But at the time, you know, since we were, we were still like, working out, um, we were still growing Playism. So you know, we had to get support from a lot of different people in order to bring Break Arts 1 to, to life. Yeah. Right. Uh, how difficult is it publishing internationally? Because I've seen uh, Playism, Daedalic, uh, there's the games from Poland here. There seems to be a, a good number of people that are trying to make console releases and bring indies to a wider audience overall. Uh, has that been, uh, oh, I hope it's been a rewarding journey. Has it been a fun one, difficult one? Uh, <laughs> まあ、一応まあ、今、2013年から so it's been a rough 11 years uh, pretty much, you know, but, but I mean it's, it's it's been it's been like hell. But you know, I mean there's definitely been some some fun points and you know working and releasing with all the titles as well. It's definitely been um, a lot of good experiences as well, but for the most part it's been rough. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do believe that this kind of stuff is important, bringing indie games more uh, to the forefront, because you don't get something like Break Arts from the mainstream. They're still doing, like, Call of Duty shooters like they've been doing for the past 20 years. Uh, what I noticed with with uh, Break Arts, Metal Bringer, and then what I've been hearing with Fight Craft, there's a lot of focus on player customization. And uh, in that regard, how Im what importance do you place on... The Customization in a game and what does it mean for a uh, player expression? Uh, so, uh, indie game, you know, uh, 
は一応カスタマイゼーション一応一番,一番重要で確かにそのカスタマイゼーションはどれくらい重要ホンマやな何でなホンマやカスタマイゼーションタイトル多い,い多いですねはい確かにそれは何でなのえー、でもまあこの一つはやっぱりメカが好きっていう人がすごくデベロッパーに多くてまああのアーマードコアできなかったからですけどやっぱりメカものは売れないっていうゲーム業界の常識が<笑>あるんですよ、はいはい、だからインディーほどやっぱ作りたいし自分の好きなメカを作りたいっていうのが多分カスタマイズという気持ちに表れてるんだと思うんで多分カニもあのきっとメカから始まってカニになってるので<笑>気,も気持ちはあの同じようなことだと So we feel like、um, we feel like the I guess the main、uh, starting point is that you know people a lot of people are fans of mechas, and so from mechas we、uh, these developers have have decided to branch out to, to making it very customizable. And so because you know oh well there's Armored Core now, but when when these games were were in development, you know Armored Core wasn't announced or anything like that. Yeah. So but but、um, with Armored Core out, you know it's a little different now. But、uh, but still, you know, there's still a heavy focus on customization, and we believe it stems from from mechas and just、uh, the the players' love for mecha. It's mecha, so yeah, and and even fight crabs too, as well. You know, since、uh, since now there's a there's a human on top of.、Uh, Of the crowd, and it kind of makes it a mecca in a little sense. And yeah. So yeah. So we believe it. It's maybe it's them from the end. So you would consider yourself a fan of mecca then? He's not a mecca skinny. I'm 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 not You know, he's not a crazy fan of mechas. I mean, he likes mechas, but you know, compared to the developers, he he loses out. You know, because the developers are just absolute fans of mechas.、Uh, yeah. Did, did I hear the word hentai by the way? Yes, you did. But, but he used it in, in the Japanese sense and not the English. Ah,、uh, no. Because the meanings the meanings are different. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Japanese. Yeah. yeah. Japanese terminology. Yeah. It's yeah. just it's like very strange person. Uh, so, so, so. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I believe you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> oh jeez.、Uh, uh, are are you yourself an anime fan? Or? You say some anime. Yeah, I'm more focused on games. Ah, he's more towards games, video games. Video games. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand. Like at your level in your company, it's basically impossible to watch or do anything because you're just running the company at this point, huh? ミスターさんディレクターポジションとかあの持ってるので、まあその暇アニメを見る暇と余裕がない。いやないです。ないですけどエロデンリングはクリアしました。あ、いや、そう、he he typically yeah like you said doesn't really have time to you know that but but he's proud to say that he's beaten Elden Ring. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> Very nice.、Yeah. Oh man. <laughs>、uh, man. <laughs> Where do you find、uh, work-life balance with doing this sort of thing? Because you're not the one making the game, but you're also responsible for bringing so much of this to、uh, a wide audience that it otherwise wouldn't have. You know, would you consider this, you know, like your children or a fun project that you do?、Um, what what emphasis do you place on this, and how do you find time away from it? Ah,、uh, Mr. と思ってますか例えばあのワークライフバランスの話なんですけどプレイズムは一応水谷さんの子供として扱ってますし<笑>それかまたは、まあ、サイドプロジェクトあじゃあもちろんど,どれくらいあの子供子供というかもう自分自身だと思っていますでそれは、えっと、僕たちにタイトルを預けてくれるデベロッパーはこのブレイクアウト3をマーキュリースタジオの人は自分の自分自身だと思ってこれをプレイズムに。私はい、これをサイドプロジェクトの気持ちでやっぱやれないので、はいはい、それぐらいの気持ちでやらないとやっぱインディーゲームクリエイターと渡り合えないので頑張ってます。So 
you know, he, since um, he feels that all of these titles are, are parts of him, they're basically parts of him, and also not just that, they're also parts of the developers themselves, you know, so that like, their creations are their parts of, of them, and the developers share this part of them with Mistani. And so, you know, he, he definitely feels a lot of responsibility, and he, you know, he can't just you know, label that as a side project. He definitely, you know, holds that love and respect and wants to, you know, make it grow into into the developers, you know, what the developers wish. Right, yeah. right. Uh, what, what I meant by, by side project was more like, is there ever a time where you're not thinking about or working on plays? Do you do like needle points? Do you do? Do you like bake? You know, is there ah, something not ah, video see, game related that you do? I yeah. see. Ah, so I just あの、ちょっと勘違いやってる。あの、ミスさん。別のホビーとか趣味。趣味。あの、一生懸命まあ、プレイズムとかゲームとかやってますが、それじゃなく、はい、なんかあります。子供と遊ぶ。uh, pretty much just playing with his, his two kids. Ah, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Another another full time job raising something else entirely. So that's more of full time. Yeah. 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 It's, uh. it's, it's, it's that's also very rough. <laughs> oh, jeez. It is something he, he you know he enjoys. Well. My my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, just just two more. So. Um, uh, uh, our community has an audience of very simple, dare I say, stupid people. Um, so if you could describe Metalbringer as a food item, you know, that, like, just, just a simple food metaphor, uh, what kind of food would Metalbringer be? どっちを食べ物と一番一致してるかな。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やばいです。やば